There are three financial statements that every business owner needs to look at, but unfortunately most of you are looking at one, maybe two. Accounting has three financial statements. It's been that way for a long, long time. And there are reasons why there is an income statement, a balance sheet, and a statement of cash flows. If you think about it, the easiest way to think about this is you need your financial statements the same way you need your test results from your doctor to check out your personal health. When you get to check out your business health, you're looking at your financial statements. So what do they tell you? Let's figure out why there's three of them and what each one of them tells you. So first and foremost, you've got your income statement, also known as a profit and loss. Same thing. They mean exactly the same thing. And what they tell you is how much money did I earn and how much money did I spend? And then did I make any money at the end of the day? What that's really telling you is how well you're operating your business model. If you decide you're going to be an ice cream shop, are you selling enough ice cream to pay the rent and to make a little bit of money at the end of the day? If you're doing a consulting business, are you consulting on the right projects and actually making money in your consulting efforts? These are the things that an income statement or a profit and loss statement will tell you. But they don't tell you whether or not you're strong and they don't tell you where your cash went. Oftentimes I'm asked by business owners, well, you know, I know I'm doing really well. Sales are up. We're doing great, but I always seem to be out of cash. What's going on? Well, unfortunately, as you're growing, maybe somebody's not paying you as fast as they could be. Or maybe you're having to put deposits down or pay things early. The cash flow statement is designed to tell you where all your cash went. That is the most important function of a cash flow statement, and you can't get that from the profit and loss or the income statement. Because here at TGG, we believe in doing things on an accrual basis, and that tells you where you are at exactly um, the right moment. And at, that is why you have to have an income statement and a statement of cash flows to tell you both did you make money and where did your cash go. Now finally, we've got this thing called the balance sheet. What is the balance sheet? Well, the balance sheet really is a measure of your financial strength. It's as if we went into the, you know, the treadmill and we, we jogged and we figure out how fast can you run a mile. As long as you're getting faster, you're getting stronger, you're getting more healthy. With your balance sheet, the thing to look at is net equity because the balance sheet is simply what you own minus what you owe. What you own minus what you owe. And if you think about it like your house, you own a home. If it's worth $500,000, own, and you have a $250,000 mortgage, owe, you're going to have net equity of $250,000. It's the exact same in your business. The things you own minus the things you owe equal your net equity, which is the same as thinking about it in terms of safety. The safer you are, the better chances you are to survive any kind of economic downturn or just downturn in your business. So you've got to watch that safety metric because if you look at the income statement or the P&L, that'll tell you how much money you made. It won't tell you where it went, but it'll tell you how much money you made. And if you look at the statement of cash flows, it'll tell you where it all went. And then if you look at the balance sheet, it'll tell you whether or not you're getting stronger or weaker and whether or not you're able to take advantage of the next downturn or that you're one of those unfortunate companies that gets wiped out in the next downturn.